So many times international students don't seem to be aware of the scholarships that are offered by private organizations. They seem to only know about those scholarships that are offered by the universities. So in today's video, I'm going to highlight a few scholarships that are given to international students by private organizations. So if you would like to know more about these scholarships, please keep watching. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel, The Scholarship Specialist. If you're a new subscriber, welcome. So the first scholarship is the CSA Group Graduate Scholarship. This scholarship is valued at 10,000 Canadian dollars and is given to the student for a maximum of up to two years. Now this scholarship is only available to those international students, Canadian citizens and permanent residents who plan to pursue a research-based master's in any discipline. The next scholarship is the PEO International Peace Scholarship. This scholarship is valued at 12,500 US for those international students who will be attending a US institution and it's valued at 12,500 US in Canadian if the student will be attending a Canadian university. The scholarship is only available to those international female graduate students who plan to pursue a master's and a PhD. So this scholarship has a gender stipulation in that it only those international students who are female can apply for the scholarship. The scholarship is given to the student for a maximum of a year and the student can renew the scholarship at the end of one year with submitting a new application. The scholarship is based on financial need, so the student must indicate in their application that without the scholarship they will be unable to attend university. The scholarship carries a stipulation in 60 days of completing their degree or doing optical practical training, the student plans to return to their country. So there's a stipulation that upon completion of your degree or your practical training, you must leave the United States if you're studying in the US or you must leave Canada if you're studying in Canada. The next scholarship is the Canadian Japanese Mennonite Scholarship. This scholarship is valued at 2,000 Canadian dollars and it is open to international students, Canadian citizens, and permanent residents who plan to pursue a research-based master's that deals with the protection of minority and human rights in Canada. The last and final scholarship is the Pradeep Kare Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is valued at 25 Canadian dollars and it is open to international students coming from India. This scholarship is also given on financial needs, so the student must indicate in their application that there is a financial need for this scholarship. Also, the scholarship requires that the student show excellent leadership abilities and community involvement. So those international students from India who show that they intend to give back to the community or serve the community while they're doing their degree or upon completion of the degree will be given preference for this scholarship. Now I've shared the links for the four scholarships in the description box below. So you can visit those links for additional information on how to go about applying for these scholarships. As always, if you found the information that I've shared with you helpful today, you can like, you can share this video with a friend who can benefit from this information, and you can comment in the comment section down below. Also, most importantly, you can subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. You can also follow me on Twitter for daily updates on scholarships for international students and universities worldwide. So until next week's video, have an excellent week, continue to keep a positive mindset and enjoy everything you do. Bye-bye.